I've seen that uh, the PF had um, a planned to have the former president uh, visit uh, the Embers Park just to lay reeds, but uh, that has not happened. Bring us up to speed uh, with uh, the latest decision. Uh, our, our security at uh, the party secretariat that um, the police had surrounded the premises as early as 5.30, 0, 06 hours. And we later received information that Embers Park was equally sealed with heavily armed police officers in anti-riot gear. You are aware that uh, the former president, President Edgar Lungu, uh, had scheduled a press conference today and then from having a press conference at the party secretariat, he was expected to go to Embassy Park to honor you know, the memories of the late president, his, uh, his predecessor, President Michael Chilufia Sata. President um, Lungu was supposed to be accompanied by members of the Central Committee and members of Parliament to lay rates at 10 hours today. However, in light of these developments by the police, in light of this heavy-handedness by President Hakainde Ichilema's government, we have uh, made an impromptu decision to immediately cancel those two programs, the press conference and the laying of rates. We don't think that um, we want to engage the police and their brutality, that we want to disturb the peace, that we want uh, 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 to cause, to be part of the confusion they want. They want to brutalize us, they want to disperse us with tear gas, they want us to disrupt town and cabinet office area. And we have, uh, the leadership has made an, a decision that is not in the interest of the memories of President Michael Sata to allow that to take place. We wanted to do this peacefully, quietly and properly, where the president gives his remarks at the party secretariat and we just come to the embassy and lay our rates and honor the memories of uh, uh, President Michael Sata. Let me give a small brief about what occurred yesterday, about what they are saying to separate memorial services. As usual as a party, we always plan for the memorial. This was our ninth one that we're planning. Remember, the first one was uh, uh, the funeral itself by the, by the state at Independence uh, Stadium. So the subsequent memorials, the nine, have always been planned by ourselves. Even now, we planned two, three months ago, we set up a committee to do this. It always includes consultation with both the family and government, if, for example, it has government involvement, like the first, fifth, tenth, fifteenth, those have government involvement. And our committee, in their planning, stated that uh, the service would be at uh, St. Ignatius Parish Catholic Church, where the president was going to go. In their preparations, when they made the last report last week to us, the committee told us that they had moved it to the cathedral, uh, of the child Jesus on account of space. And we had our last uh, meeting of engagement by the party and the family. And uh, the family was represented by um, Honorable Mulenga Sata and Honorable Sylvia Chalikosa with ourselves and the committee. And we had settled that the uh, conference, I mean the memorial service, the required ma mass would take place at the Cathedral of Child Jesus. We were later called by the family that there was pressure because State House had indicated that the president was uh, not comfortable to come to the Cathedral of uh, the Child Jesus, that the president was not willing to come there. Those are their politics. We said we'll not get involved in the president's apprehensions or his fears. We were later told that uh, cabinet office was insisting that they will move the memorial to uh, the Cathedral of the Holy, Holy Cross and that they wanted to uh, print cards, ca cards of invitations and the program. So we had an emergency meeting again in the afternoons with the family. Again, it was settled that the memorial would take place at the cathedral. In fact, there was a subsequent meeting from there between the family, our representative, who went to the vicar general's office where they had this meeting. It also involved a representative from the chaplain general who you know, comes from government. And it was settled that the, the cathedral uh, of the child Jesus would anchor and host that memorial. But we later saw two statements from Mr. Tabo Kawana 
who is Permanent Secretary, Information and Media, and later from Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Patrick Kangwa, that they, they had moved the memorial from the Cathedral of the Child Jesus to uh, uh, the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, the Anglican one. We, as a party, and members of President Sata and other well-wishers decided that we should stick to what we had been arranging the last uh, uh, two or three months and that would proceed to go to um, uh, the cathedral and that's what happened. So we're surprised that government got apprehensive about uh, the memorial at the cathedral that uh, they acted brutally as you saw, sealed the entire premises, even did not respect the presence of the Archbishop and, and senior council lawyer. Uh, Mr. John Sangwa, State Council, they just had no regard. And you saw the standoff go on for, for almost two hours, from 7.30 to 9.30, when the police finally withdrew. Uh, so we, we were shocked by the, the, the conduct of the state, and we hope that uh, they will render an apology. But we are glad and would like to thank everyone. You saw the cathedral was full. would like to thank the church for, for ensuring that uh, the service, the required mass that prepared in honor of President Michael Sata proceeded as planned. We also wish those that went to the uh, cathedral of the Holy Cross well as well. It was all of these were in memory of President Michael Sata. We wish that next time there should be many services, many required masses in all Catholic churches, all Anglican, all UCZ, and everywhere else to commemorate our presidents, whether it's President Kenneth Kaunda, whether it's Frederick Chiluba, whether it's Levi Mwanawasa, whether it's Rupia Banda, whether it's Frederick Chiluba. And of course, we have to take into consideration what their wishes were, what the family wishes are, what the other stakeholders are. So for us, we will not condemn what happened at uh, the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. We actually welcome it because it's part of the larger processes to you know, honor our fallen uh, founding fathers and leaders. Now, Ambassador Mamba, yesterday we did see, uh, we did not see the former president uh, at any of uh, the two events that you've stated, but uh, we were ably informed that uh, he was among the invited guests for the Anglican event. Well, like all state events, the, the president, the vice president, I think that he was going to attend one at the uh, Holy Cross, because that's what, that wasn't in our plans. All our plans were at the Cathedral of the Child Jesus. and. Um, you saw the standoff was for almost two hours. We were supposed to have started our service at 10 o'clock. By 9.30, we were still arguing with the police. So it could be related to security concerns and other matters. But we had an opportunity for the president to speak today, which he's been prevented. I'll get in touch with him. And if there are any further remarks about this, uh, you know, we'll let you know. But he was supposed to speak at a press conference. Probably you're going to ask him that question and then lay rates at Embassy Park. Do you, find, do you find it oppressive that um, your secretary was sealed off uh, and um, the uh, embassy park was also sealed off, which is supposed to be a public place? Yeah. It's a usual lawlessness by this government. This government is lawless in its approach. You know, when we condemn that there's an emerging dictatorship, that uh, there's a shrinking democratic space, that there's an abandonment of the rule of law, that there is disregard to the constitution and our laws, regulations. This is what we mean. They want only disregard. How do you invade the sacred place like the cathedral? And that, that premises has some form of diplomatic status. The Catholic Church, you know, is, is affiliated to the Holy See, uh, you know, at the Vatican. You have to be very careful. I remember there was an incident where the police stormed Bikoga uh, in Matero. You saw the approval stakeholders and the church. These are sanctuaries, are sacred places for worship. The state and the police have no space to be there. So the conduct by the police, and I hope that President Hichilema, if he didn't send the police like he has done today, that he will apologize and take action. But we know nothing will happen because he's the one that is sending them. He sent them yesterday, he has sent them today. So you can see clearly a pattern that that incident yesterday was uh, not an isolated incident. It's choreographed uh, 
directives deny people their rights to associate, assemble, and seal off the premises. Doesn't matter what rights they have. It doesn't matter what constitutional right they have to assemble, to speak disregard that and take over the premises. So it's just utter lawlessness by the state. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Good.